What's up guys, Blue Moon Mining here. Um, so there's a kind of like an update video, but at the same time, just kind of going over some things that I feel like I wanted to go over. So right now the market's kind of looking scary, you know, Bitcoin's under 19,000. It's continuing to go down, you know, and all these other coins are following the lead, also going down and, you know, it kind of sucks. Um, Ethereum Classic, um, $28, mining profitability is at an all time low and it's just, it's just horrible. And just the situation going on around crypto right now is all over the place and nobody knows what's going to happen, you know. But that's okay. Um, I'm doing fine. A lot of other people are doing fine. People have their plans and I have my plans. Um, I have many ASIC miners I'm getting because I feel like those will be worth in the long run for me personally. Um, GPUs probably want to be the best investment right now. I feel like just putting it into like mini ASICs or just ASICs in general will be more worth it in the long run for me. So that's what I kind of shifted my focus to. Like yes, I'll still continue to buy GPUs and stuff if I find a good deal, but I'm more likely to look for deals on ASIC miners like Gold Shell and all those iPolos and stuff too. So I have my plans. And trust me, I love GPU mining, but in today's market right now, um, it's not as efficient as, say, an Ipolo or, you know, gold shell miners. And, you know, I want to mine coins that aren't even mineable with um, GPUs. Like, I'm getting a, I got a Kadena miner on the way. going to mine some KDA. Uh, right now, I've got a gold, gold shell handshake miner in my possession right now. Mining Sia coin, so you guys will see a video on that uh, probably tomorrow. Because right now I'm just doing 24 hour, uh, 24 hour profitability or this that other thing. And my iPolo SE is on the way, so um, I still do like GPU mining. You know, I'm mining Flux, and I've been spec mining some other coins on my computer's GPU. Um, I'm solo mining Bitcoin with a cheap little ASIC miner, um, so yeah. Um, but the thing I really wanted to talk about today, and you know, maybe a little risky to talk about, people are going to have their opinions on it, but you know, just remember that these videos are just totally based on my opinion. You guys don't have to listen to it, don't have to agree with it, and I want to hear your guys' opinion on it too, but it's mostly to do with Ethereum and people trying to fork it um, there, there's a lot of people that just won't give up ethereum and let's just go over to ET hash you know I don't know where this ethereum fair, fair came from but that's been picking up some steam it looks like and then we also got ethereum POW and um, seeing these coins honestly just make me disappointed in uh, what's to come like these people just won't give up on ethereum and I think that we need to kind of move away from Ethereum. Like, yeah, Ethereum Classic's the closest thing we have to Ethereum right now. But why should we have to sit here and try and fork or come up with these other projects that are Ethereum-based? Um, because it's, it just doesn't make sense. Um, I know I haven't been mining for a long time. Um, it's been almost a year now and a couple months or around November or so. November, December, or late November, I would believe. I'm um, coming up on a year around that time. And uh, coming from myself, I, I just feel like um, trying to stick with one coin, it gets kind of monotonous and it's kind of boring. Like, yeah, we're looking for profitability. Some A lot of people want to mine coins that's going to make them a good amount of money, but. Why, why can't it be a different coin? Why does it have to be specifically an Ethereum-based coin or an ET hash coin? Why, like, why can't it be like an Auto Light, Auto Light Coast coin, like Ergo or something? Why can't it be a Kapow coin, like Raven coin or something that we mine? You know, um, a lot of people are just trying to keep Ethereum around. And I, I think it's absurd. I think it's, it's stupid. And, you know, 
it, it's it's quite obvious that there's a lot of people out there that don't want to keep these coins. They they want to move on. They want to try you know coins like Ergo. They want to try Flux. They want to try all of those different coins. And I I feel like we just as a community of miners, we just need to we need to stray away from Ethereum. And yeah, you know Ethereum Classic was the one that took the big hit for all the other algorithms. It took the big ASIC hit, and I've, I believe that Ethereum Classic should stick around just for ASIC miners, so we can have, you know, we can have that algorithm for ASIC miners to take over, while the GPUs, you know, take over their own coins. And that's what I like about a lot of these other coins, is that they're, they're basically ASIC resistant. They're, they're keeping the ASICs away from the algorithms to allow the GPUs to be profitable still. But right now, it seems to be in a situation where there's a lot of companies out there. They want to make ASICs for these different algorithms. They, they want to, they want to push the market away from GPUs all the time. And you know, there's all these people coming up with these Ethereum projects because they just can't let it go. And I, I just, I, I see a lot of trouble in that. I feel like it's not a good step forward for mining. And you know, I haven't been in the mining community for too long you know my channel I uploaded my first video back in April of this year so you know some people will call me a little newbie still some people say I don't know what I'm talking about but you know I, I still did a, lot, a good amount of research on a lot of the things before I even came into mining you know before I even started mining uh, I, I, I swear to God I spent like four days reading in about mining it and the different algorithms and all that stuff and you know, I kind of took it to heart and I really thought about it and I, I thought that yeah this is a good way for passive income and at the time Ethereum was still around and um, Ethereum was still a good price I believe it was around two thousand plus dollars still back when I started mining and I didn't even have an eight gigabyte card or anything I had a four gigabyte I couldn't even mine it but with all the information I knew about Ethereum at the time knowing that they're trying to stray away from the proof of work um, the proof of work kind of stuff and I wanted to go to proof of stake I always thought that Ethereum was just not the project for miners and I always thought there should be other coins taking over and now that Ethereum's finally gone I, I, I still believe that that there, there should be other coins to take over but there's just this community that just can't let it go and it's obvious because look at the amount of hash rate that's still on these algorithms that are Ethereum based. Like, yeah, it was way higher. It was up in 80, 70, some odd terahash. And now this Ethereum fair coins picking off. And I just, I just don't see, I just don't see why, you know, when you have all these other great coins out there that we can mine, like, you know, we got Flux, we got Ergo, we got Ravencoin, you know, Neox is getting up there. And um, there's still more coins to come. There's not just going to always be those coins. And, you know, I like Flux and I like Ergo. i um, not a really big fan of the cop, however, them. it's very hot. It's very energy um, dependent, you know, it uses a lot of electricity for very little hash rate. But, you know, I like, I like Flux and... I believe that's a good project, and Ergo, Ergo is a nice one. It's nice and cool, very efficient in my opinion for GPUs. But you know, ET hash is kind of in between. You know, it's, it uses a good amount of power, and it's it's not complete. It's not very hot, but it's it's up there for memory temps and stuff. And I, I just don't know why we can't stray away from it. Like people are trying so hard to keep Ethereum and. In my opinion, it's it's just why, and, you know, there's a lot of people out there that's like promoting it or s talking about it, and it's just like, I, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, I hardly like bringing it up in my videos and stuff, but I feel like I just had to talk about it, you know. I don't know if a lot of people are going to agree with me. I know there's a, a pretty big community out there that just can't let Ethereum go, and they all miss Ethereum, but in my opinion, I honestly, I'm happy it's gone, you know. It kind of opens up more opportunities for um, a lot of miners out there, especially because, you know, a lot of people have older GPUs, and older GPUs are still pretty good on some of these coins. 
and we have seen a nice uh, hash rate decrease. There's a lot of people that can't mine anymore, and it's an understandable thing, and it's kind of sad to see them go, but we've been seeing all these different all these different coins have a hash rate decrease. Not much flux, it seems like. Flux been kind of all right. But, you know, look at Ergo. Ergo shot up, and now look at it all the way back down. 40-some Terra hash from 200. And um, I, I don't necessarily know why Ergo blew up the way it did. I know it's a more efficient algorithm for GPUs, but um, the amount of hash rate that spread out, I feel like we should have spread it out more evenly across all the coins, but I can't control what everyone else does. Um, it's their own choice. Um, me personally, I'm mining Flux right now because I honestly just think it's a good project and their parallel assets are pretty nice. Um, and it seems like uh, the community around Flux is very positive and they're really looking to change the way we mine, I guess. Um, doing their whole Web3 stuff, I guess. And uh, Zellcore and all that, so. I like the project. Um, I've been looking into it. Ergo's an alright project as well. Um, me personally, I like Ergo just because I get a lot more hash rate for a lower amount of watts. Now, I can get 150 mega hash on a 3060 at 100 watts. You know, that's pretty nice. I like that. But it's still irritating to me why we're still trying to keep Ethereum around. It's, it's honestly like, let's just give up, you know. Ethereum Classic's all we got for Ethereum, so let's keep it that way, you know. Let the ASICs have it, you know. You know, GPUs don't have to be on this anymore. Let's just have the ASICs have this and let the GPUs have their coins. We don't need no Ethereum POW. We don't need Ethereum FAIR. We don't need Ethereum this. We don't need Ethereum that. Keep it Ethereum Classic. Let the ASICs have it, you know. It's kind of like Bitcoin, you know. People tried to... Uh, you know, Bitcoin Cash and all that. People tried to fork Bitcoin. It's, it just didn't make any sense. Just It's one coin. Let the coin be the only one. You don't need to have multiple different coins. Um, Ethereum Classic exists um, just because they decided to create a new Ethereum, I guess. And now there's Ethereum 2, but, you know, that's basically just the normal Ethereum. I, I, I just, I know, this video is kind of weird. A lot of people won't agree with me. Some people call me dumb, you know. Go for it. I'm not going to be offended about it. It's just my opinion. And, um, you know, speaking your opinion these days is, is a risky subject. You know, I don't want to get all political, but it's kind of the world we live in. So, um, that's, that's just my opinion. I think we should just get away from Ethereum. We should just say bye. We don't need to keep trying to fork it. We don't need to keep trying to expand on what it is. Let's just move on to other coins and accept the fact that Ethereum's gone. It's a new beginning for mining. Uh, we'll find another. We'll find another coin someday that will be profitable for us all. But right now, it's kind of a bad. It's a bad time. You know, it's a. It's a. It's a. You know. Bear market gotta accept the fact that nothing's gonna be profitable in a time where it's always red like you see it green once once or twice a week but most of the time it's red it's always dropping so we have some time you know a lot of people can't continue to mine it's understandable a lot of people probably want to keep mining so they have a few rigs on while the rest are off and then there's People like me that are just looking more towards ASICs because right now ASICs are still pulling in the money. Like, let me go here, turn this back down to 12 cents. Because not everyone has 16 cents per kilowatt hour like me. Um, I don't know if it's going to change or not. But yeah, look at look at ASICs. There's still a lot of profitable ASICs out there, and it goes down for a while. Even if it's only making cents a day, it's still making money. Like hell, I got this SH box right here, and I got um, I got the 
SC coming. It's going to be making about eight cents a day at my at my whatever it's called electrical rate. And then I got a KD Box Pro on the way. It makes like thirty eight cents. Yeah, but at least it's making you money. Like I'm mining, I'm mining flux right now. And if I were to go and just put two, let's go just put two of my thirty sixties on it. Slap in my electrical rate, and we'll find flux, and probably gonna be way down here. Right here, I'm losing 80, 89 cents a day. I'm losing. Um, I don't really think there's any profitable coins out there, and it's gonna be that way for a while. And you know, I I'm accepting it, and you know, a lot of other crypto YouTubers are accepting it. And, they're still creating content and they're still doing the they're still mining to some extent some of them aren't mining and some of them are only mining at certain times of the day but right now we just kind of have to accept the fact that this is what's going on with the market and you know not everyone can handle it um, but yeah uh, it's probably gonna be enough about that just gonna do my usual updates on what's going on um, still solo mining Bitcoin my computer's been shutting off in the morning or at certain times for some reason and I have to keep it it's the second day in a row it's done this I don't know why so hopefully I fixed the issue um, had some issues with like Windows Defender yelling at me about something so I fixed that hopefully it won't shut off if it does I'm probably gonna probably gonna try and figure out go deep into files and see why my computer is doing it but um I have mining flux and of course I have my handshake doing a 24 hour test right now um just running it on DX pool so we'll see how that goes um you know a lot of these coins are down um talking about them is kind of sucky right now um, by the way, I'm not sad or anything. My voice is kind of down right now because I think I'm losing it. Kind of sounds like I'm losing it, but don't know why. Probably just need to drink water. I'm feeling kind of thirsty. My throat's a little dry, so. Um, but yeah, flux is down into the 80 some odd cents. Ergo is probably almost under. Yeah, it's under three dollars now. You know, the market's continuing continuing to go down. We just kind of have to gotta hold on tight and hope all goes well you know of course nothing I say in my videos is financial advice uh, do your own research and yeah so that's pretty much what's going on guys um, hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I should be getting my iPolo SE in a couple days or so um, I'll do a video on that. You guys are probably going to get that handshake video today. Because it is the 21st now. I'm recording this. Um, I probably won't upload it till later. Until probably tomorrow, the 22nd. Usually I'll upload pretty late at night. Kind of kind of pull Brandon coin on you guys and upload super late. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys kind of understand what I'm talking about. And, you know, some of you may agree with my opinion, some of you guys may disagree, but it's okay. Uh, let, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, um, peace out guys. See you in the next one.